The man you see before you today, Corporal William Kyle Carpenter, should not be alive today. Hand grenades are one of the most awful weapons of war. They only weigh about a pound, but they're packed with TNT. If one lands nearby, you have mere seconds to seek cover. When it detonates, its fragments shoot out in every direction, and even at a distance, that spray of shrapnel can inflict devastating injuries on the human body. Up close, it's almost certain death. But we are here because this United States Marine faced down that terrible explosive power, that unforgiving force, with his own body, willingly and deliberately, to protect a fellow Marine. When that grenade exploded, Kyle Carpenter's body took the brunt of the blast. But in that instant, he fulfilled those words of Scripture, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. They found Kyle lying face down directly over the blast area. His helmet was riddled with holes. His gear was melted. Part of his Kevlar vest was blown away. Uh, one of the doctors who treated him later said Kyle was literally wounded from the top of his head to his feet. Now, Kyle says he'll wear this medal for all who serve and for those who didn't make it back and for those who struggle still. If any American seeks a model of the strength and resilience that define us as a people, including uh, this uh, newest 9-11 generation, I want you to consider Kyle. After everything he's been through, he skis, he snowboards, he's jumped from a plane with a parachute, thankfully. <laughs> he trudged through a six-mile mud run, completed the Marine Corps Marathon, says he wants to do a triathlon, uh, he's a motivational speaker, uh, an advocate for his fellow wounded warriors. Uh, he's thinking about majoring in psychology so he can use his own experiences to help others. He got stellar grades. And by the way, he's only 24 years old and says, I'm just getting started. Um, in other words, Kyle is a shining example of what our nation needs to encourage is veterans who come home and then use their incredible skills and talents to keep our country strong. And we can all learn from Kyle's example. As we prepare for the reading of the citation, I'd like to close with his own words, uh, a message, I think, for every American. It took a life-changing event to get me to truly appreciate the precious and amazing life I have been blessed with. Please take it from me. Enjoy every day to the fullest. Don't take life too seriously. Always try to make it count. Appreciate the small and simple things. Be kind and help others. Let the ones you love always know you love them. And when things get hard, trust there is a bigger plan and that you will be stronger for it. The President of the United States, in the name of the Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Lance Corporal William Kyle Carpenter, United States Marine Corps for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Without hesitation and with complete disregard for his own safety, Lance Corporal Carpenter moved towards the grenade in an attempt to shield his fellow Marine from the deadly blast. When the grenade detonated, his body absorbed the brunt of the blast, severely wounding him, but saving the life of his fellow Marine. By his undaunted courage, bold fighting spirit, and unwavering devotion to duty, in the face of almost certain death, Lance Corporal Carpenter reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service.